Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog post about multiple myeloma, kidney damage, specifically caused by cytoxin. Cytoxin is also called cyclophosphamide. Try saying that one five times quickly. The study linked below, um, when, it came, when it came across my, my inbox, I uh, couldn't read, read it and write about it quickly enough, mainly because I see, uh, I know about many newly diagnosed myeloma patients undergoing, uh, being given cytoxin. I was given cytoxin um, mainly because cytoxin is used to sort of kickstart your body's um, production of stem cells. If you are about to undergo uh, an autologous stem cell transplant, you will undergo harvesting of those stem cells. Your oncologist probably will encourage you, will have you undergo a couple of doses of, um, in my case, high dose cytoxin that will spur your body's production of stem cells. That's great. You'll be able to harvest stem cells. The problem is, at the same time, um, cytoxin, according to the study below, has been shown to damage your kidney function. If, 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 if you are that myeloma patient who presented upon diagnosis with kidney damage, yes, multiple myeloma itself, monoclonal proteins, can cause kidney damage. If you already have kidney problems, cytoxin is probably not a good idea for you. It's possible your oncologist hasn't read the study below. And on that note, I've written um, countless blog, blog posts previously about different chemotherapies, different um, chemicals that are given to myeloma patients that can cause kidney problems. Revlimid, um, a, a number of different novel chemotherapies. Um, gadolinium is a, a famous one. That is the what's referred to as contrast agent when you have an MRI. If you have kidney problems, don't, don't undergo gadolinium. These days, I'm pretty sure that most um, oncologists know that gadolinium is bad stuff for the myeloma patient. The, the, what I'm, my point is that studies come along oftentimes after the approval of a therapy for multiple myeloma. So you and your oncologist are in the unenviable position of, in essence, trying to play catch up, figuring out what out there is okay for your myeloma, yet is a problem for your kidney function. Kidney uh, failure is something like the third or fourth cause of death for myeloma patients. So um, I only mention that, I don't like to talk about death, but I mention that only because um, myeloma patients rarely die of their myeloma. It's the problems that myeloma causes. You as a, a myeloma survivor run into problems. Kidney damage, um, kidney disease is in this case, a major problem. So if you have any questions or comments about managing your kidney function, about cytoxin, about other novel therapies that can cause kidney damage, scroll down the page, send me a question or a comment. I will reply to you ASAP. Uh, thanks for your time and attention, and hang in there.